Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on HiSys and we will talk about dissolving acid. Okay, so we are now inside the HiSys. We go to component list folder. We open the drop down, click HiSys. We will use water. So type in water, enter and then it will be there. And also H2SO4, sulfuric acid, click add. All right, we only need two components. Click auto hide. You can see the status is okay. So now we go to fluid package, click high sys, and we will use PRSV, PRSV, this one. And the status is okay. And now we can go to simulation environment. All right, we are now in the simulation environment. Click auto hide and you can see the palette here. All right, we will use mixer because we want to dissolve the acid. And then we click the mixer, put in the inlet stream, acid and water. And the outlet, we call it dilute acid close you can see the process flow diagram all right we enter again the mixer and then we go to worksheet okay and now for the temperature for the acid is 30 degrees centigrade pressure at one atmosphere 10 molar flow kilogram mole per hour whereas the water the same temperature, 30 degrees centigrade, one atmosphere, and then the molar flow, 100 kilogram mole per hour. All right, so the pressure will be calculated by HISIS and molar flow. The stream, acid stream, add up with this one. So the result is 110 kilogram mole per hour for the dilute acid. But the temperature will be fitted blank and later on it will be calculated by the HISIS. Now from worksheet, from condition, we go to composition. So for the acid, it will be 100% acid. So we input one as mole fraction. Okay, be careful there. We input mole fraction. We click OK, and we do the same thing with H2O, 100% or one as mole fraction. We click OK, and it has been completed. The simulation, the calculation has been completed. So you can see now the mole fraction for the water in dilute acid is 90% or 0 0.9, whereas the sulfuric acid is 0 0.09 as the mole fraction or 9%. Okay, and we can check the condition. You can see there is a cooling effect. So the temperature will drop a bit the dilute acid will have temperature of 29.97 centigrade, all right, degrees Celsius. Okay, done, so far so good, but we can also do some, a little bit exercise. So for example, we will add heater here, okay? And then we open the heater, we call it, let's say, pipe rack, okay, incoming from the pipe rack, for example, and then the outlet acid, we call it the energy stream heater, and then we go to worksheet, okay, this is our worksheet, so for example, the temperature in the pipe rack flow is 30, one atmosphere, okay, but there will be heating up by the heater, so the temperature will rise from 30 to 60, for example. All right. Okay, so we can close. So what happened to the final temperature? You can see if we rise the temperature of the acid stream 
So the dilute acid here will have temperature of 39. Okay, we can double click. I mean, right click, show table. So you can see the temperature of the dilute acid there. And you can see the heat flow here. All right. This is the thing if we raise the temperature of the acid. But we can also do the same thing. For example, we delete it. Okay. Delete it. Or let it be. We use heater here. The temperature of the acid will go back to 30, for example. You can see the original condition. And the pipe rack. Okay, we open the pipe rack. Composition empty. We can override it. And we drag it here. We open the heater. We call the pipe rack. And we call the heat, heat flow. And now the outlet is water. Okay. And let's say we want to increase the temperature from 30 to 60. And you can see the temperature will increase also. Previously, if we increase the temperature of the acid, the final temperature will be 39. And if we increase the temperature of the water, the temperature will be 51 degrees Celsius. All right, so this is the simulation for dissolving acid, dissolving sulfuric acid using water. And we also do some exercises with temperature increase. All right, so that's all. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next high videos. Thank you.